Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we'll demonstrate using the Rate Quote feature for reservations and walk-ins. To open the Rate Quoter, use the Rate Quote link under the Reservations View menu. Unlike some Cloud PM screens, the Rate Quote screen doesn't have a ribbon bar along the top, just these two buttons. Guest Stay options are in the middle, and this section contains your quote results. Let's get started on a new quote. I'll leave the arrival date at today's business date for the moment, but change the number of nights to three. Just like the reservation screen, if we change the number of nights, the system automatically updates the departure date. If your hotel has single and double rates, it's important to also enter the number of people in order to provide an accurate rate. I'm sure you noticed the results disappeared as soon as we changed this information. Now that we've entered what we need, click View Rates. OK, we have some rooms and rates to offer our guest. Room types are here, and this is the average nightly rate. If you'd like to see the rates day by day, there are two ways to get them. Either use this plus sign to reveal a hidden row, or click the Details button to open a Rate Detail window. There's also a total room charge, along with estimated taxes for the stay, and an estimated total. The Rooms Available column shows how many of each room type are available for the length of the guest stay. Red tells us king rooms are sold out. Yellow indicates fewer than 10 rooms available, and green means 10 or more. Since we're quoting a rate for today's business date, there are two hyperlinks available, Walk-in and Reserve. Click one to either continue the reservations process or walk in a guest. If we're quoting for a future date, Reserve is the only option. What if there's rate resistance or the guest qualifies for a different rate? In that case, we can simply choose another rate from this dropdown and refresh to display the new rates and availability. This is new. We've selected a rate with a booking rule restriction. Any rules on a selected rate, room type, or date range will appear in this section. In our case, there's a three-night minimum on this particular rate code. If your guest is inquiring about a group block, click the Group button, then select the desired group from the list. Notice in the Rooms Available column that only two room types have rates. That's because those are the only room types in this group's block. Once your caller selects a room type, click the Reserve link and Cloud PM opens the new reservation screen with the previous information already filled in. You may now continue the reservations process as usual. If your caller doesn't make a reservation and your hotel tracks denials, don't just close the rate quote screen. Instead, click the reserve link, then click cancel in order to enter a denial reason. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. Please feel free to contact your account manager or our customer support center for additional questions.